Stan Jabalisco here with an explanation for final exam question number two in Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, fifth edition, that's edition number five, page 661. The question asks us uh, if we have a perfect sine wave, uh, phase opposition is equivalent to a phase shift of how much? Well now, we need to keep in mind that this is for a perfect sine wave only. If we shift by 180 degrees, that is a half a cycle, either forward or backward. In this case, uh, I am shifting the wave later in time, time going like this. So it's a lagging phase of one half of a cycle, which is 180 degrees of phase. The same thing would happen if we shifted it earlier in time to, so that it, the red wave would lead the black one by one half of a cycle or 180 degrees. Note that in this range right here, these two waves are exactly inverted with respect to each other. That is what phase opposition means. It doesn't mean a phase shift of 180 degrees literally. It means flipping the wave upside down. But for a sine wave, a perfect sine wave, a 180 degree phase shift will give you the same result as phase opposition. The correct answer, therefore, is C, as in Charlie. Stan Jovalisco is signing off.